Hello, you're joining me at the moment I realised the exterior of the van isn't quite as waterproof as I'd like. There's all these marks below here, yeah that's, that's wet. And so in this video we're going to turn our attention to the outside of the van and begin fixing this problem. So it gets in over the top of that and then that's where those little poppy things are. So it's leaking through then. Now there's three things I need to address here. The first one is sealing these clips. The second one is protecting the underside of the van from rust. And the third one is sealing these holes left over from the ramp fixings. Now ideally you'd focus on all of this exterior sealing before de-rusting and painting the inside. I jumped the gun a little bit on some of my processes and so this painting and de-rusting and stuff will be covered in the next episode. Of course I started attacking this in my usual brutal methods by just trying to rip it off by hand, but it became very clear to me that this would either damage the trim or my hands, basically whichever came first. So I invested in this really handy trim kit that made the job much easier and I found a ton of other uses for it ever since. This job would be much easier with two people because all you'd need to do is squish the clips together on the inside with a pair of pliers and then have someone on the outside pulling it off. But as I was a one-man crew, I found that if I popped the trim off using the crowbar trim tool, that would often leave the clips themselves behind, but then I could always come back with this trim tool and get behind them, squish together the little pinchy thing, and they would come off really easily and without being damaged. Once I'd done that, I cleaned off all the dirt and grease and grime with some soapy water. I did actually come across a few areas of light rust here, and so I treated them with a bit of rust stabilizer and then painted over it with hammerite paint. If you're not sure what those things are, they'll be covered in the next episode. And I then went round and popped the remaining clips out the trim. Now, the clips themselves were actually a little bit minging by this point, and so it made sense to give them a bit of a scrub as well. So again, I filled up a bucket of soapy water and one by one cleaned them all off to help provide a nice waterproof seal for the next stage. Before reinserting the clips, I found that while some of them held their shape relatively well, on other ones the tabs at the top are compressed and they wouldn't lock in place as well. So again, I came back with the trim tool, got underneath them and reshaped them a little bit to make sure they'd snap in place really nicely. And then I got those snapped back into position, ready to be sealed. Now before we attach the trim to the outside of the van again, it actually makes sense to spray the wheel arches and maybe other areas with underbody car spray just to help keep things nice and neat. But before we can do the underbody car spray we need to fix some of the holes in the bodywork so we're going to take a few steps back here and get those things addressed before snapping the trim back on. Now I tried a couple of things for this. The first was this JB weld paste kind of stuff. This was very good for filling some of the holes but it was way too runny and liquidy to fill these bigger holes that the ramp had left. So I went out and purchased this JB weld steel reinforced putty, got it all mixed up in my hands and it worked wonders. It filled all of these massive holes with ease, I was able to fill the holes in the side of the wheel arches and do so from both the interior and the exterior of the van to really make sure the putty was locked in place and weatherproof. Once that had all dried, I came back with the underbody car spray to help protect it against stone chips and rust and all that sort of stuff, making sure to mask off the tyres to ensure I don't get them covered in the stuff, and of course making sure I'm wearing a suitable mask because this stuff is minging. And so with the underside of the vehicle all sprayed and sealed, it was now time to reattach the trim. Now judging by the amount of water stains in the van, it's pretty clear we can't rely on the sealing capabilities of the clips alone, so we're going to need a little bit of help by this stuff. Silly Rub LMN. Other than having quite a uh, captivating name, which one of my Instagram followers pointed out, the main reason I chose this stuff is because it's neutral cure, which from what I understand is just less likely to affect paintwork. It's also quite flexible, so it's going to be able to deal with the vibrations of the van quite nicely. And it's not an adhesive, it's just a sealant, so should these clips ever need to come off in the future, they would do so much easier than if I were to be using an adhesive sealant here. So you can do this to the trim along the entire length of the van. Van, just watch out for hidden fixings that are holding the trim in place because they're not that easy to find. You want to be searching in the wheel arches for them, you want to be searching on the sliding door and both the driver and passenger door as well. With that all said and done, the final two precautionary measures were to spray the inside walls with a bit of wax oil just in case any water did manage to sneak through and then it's also worth getting under the van and double checking the drainage holes are all clear of dirt and debris. I found that just getting a lolly stick and poking it around in there was able to clear it out pretty nicely. Nicely. Once you've done all that, the exterior of the van is sealed and we can start focusing on de-rusting and painting the inside. So we'll be focusing on that on the next episode and I'll see you then.